all cameras have either a 1 quarter 20 thread or a 3 8 16 thread. Now to all of you living in the States, this will seem quite normal, but for all of us living in a country that uses the metric system, this seems a little bit weird and quite annoying when you're trying to find a thread to fit or to make a homemade camera mounting system. This dates back to the early 1900s when cameras first started to become a bit more popular. During that time, the standard thread was the British Standard Whitworth that had been around for a while after being standardized in 1841 in Britain. As companies wanted to make their tripods available to as many customers as possible, they all used this standard. So they'd be able to sell the tripods to every single photographer. Well, every photographer that wanted a tripod anyway. Now, the reason why we're still using these threads today is that there really hasn't been any reason to change over the last 100 years. Tripods and mounting systems can last a really long time when you do look after them. Back in the UK, I have a tripod from the 90s and I can fit a modern day tripod head that's just come out in the last day and also one of the old box brownies. I'd be able to, in theory, fit that to it as well. Because of this, no camera company or tripod manufacturer would even want to alienate parts of its potential customer base by switching to the metric thread. And this is even when a lot of countries have that metric thread system as standard. There are so many things in photography that really do change that it's good that we actually have this one standardization in photography. You may need an adapter to narrow that thread down or to enlarge that thread, but as long as you have one of those, you can pretty much buy a tripod head and a set of tripod legs from any company and they will fit together. That's as long as the tripod head is removable anyway. Now, if you know any more about this, let me know in the comments below. It'd be great to hear your thoughts. And if you like this video, try this one next. Or if you want to learn more about photography, click down here. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for weekly tutorials and reviews in photography and videography. I'll see you next time.